This is Mr. Masonette, and today we are going to find the area of a circle when the given radius is 4 centimeters. The first thing we have to do is state our formula. To find the area of a circle, the formula is area is approximately equal to pi times radius to the second power. After stating our formula, we're going to substitute the symbol pi with the value 3 and 14 hundredths. And in this case, we are going to take r and substitute it with the number 4 because the radius of this circle is 4 centimeters and raise 4 to the second power. Now after we substitute all the proper values, the next step is we always square the radius. And in this case, 4 to the second power is 16. Be careful not to put 8 there, a common mistake that many people make as they do 4 times 2. But that exponent simply tells us how many times we multiply the base times itself. So 4 to the second power really is 4 times 4, which is 16. Be careful of another common mistake. Sometimes people multiply pi times the radius before they actually square the radius. After you have squared the radius, we're going to take that value and multiply it by pi. In this case, 3 and 14 hundredths times 16. After performing some careful calculations, we see that our answer is 50 and 24 hundredths square centimeters. Now, what does this really mean? It means that inside the perimeter of this circle, we could cover the surface of the circle with about 50 square centimeters. To illustrate this, we are going to overlay a square units grid over the circle just to show that it is about 50 square centimeters. Taking a look at the green area, we see that it is a square that is about 6 by 6, which means that's an area of 36 square units. But you see there are still some square units left on the outside. Now each one of those on the outside is about 4 square centimeters, so if we had to estimate, 4 times 4 is about 16 square units. And when combining 36 and 16, that's about 52. Now keep in mind, this is just an estimate because the square units do not fit perfectly inside a circle. The actual answer is 50 and 24 hundredths, but just putting the grid paper there and seeing how many square units visually fit in there is a good way to demonstrate that you can still use square units when finding the area of a circle. 